Okay, I think I'm live. Let me pull it up on my phone to see if I'm actually showing anywhere. Okay, I think I'm live. Let me pull it up on my phone to see if I'm actually showing anywhere. <laughs> That was a late, um, a delayed audio there. And I'll just wait for a little bit and see if anyone shows up. And if not, I'll just run my sale on my own. And if you guys like anything, you can email me for it and drop a comment down below with the item you want. Um, email me at Lucy Curios. Hey, Maria, California Thrifter. Email me at lucidcurios at gmail.com, the item you had wanted, and um, I'll send you an invoice. I would need your PayPal info, your address, your name, your YouTube name, your PayPal info, meaning your PayPal email address. And so you can see me, Maria, like I'm live, live. Waiting for delayed response. Okay, cool. I see that there's actually six people here, which is really exciting for me. Um, I don't know if it's a oh, drop down to four. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to get things started. Um, and like I said, if you don't see it, sell in the actual sale. You can email me for it later because I know I'm kind of new to this. This is my first live sale, and I don't know if I'm stepping on top of someone else's sale. So my first item I have up for grabs is a set of Abaca napkin rings, and it's a four-piece set. And they're very, like, um, boho, kind of mid-century, kind of Moroccan-looking. And from what I've researched, Abaca is a type of hemp, so they're natural. And they're going to be $5, number 52. All righty. And next up, <laughs> I have too many mugs. So I'm going to try to start getting my mugs out of the way. Um, is this McDonald's Garfield mug. And it's got Odie on it and Garfield. And it says it's not a pretty life, but somebody has to live it. And Odie's holding up the other end of the hammock while... Garfield's relaxing. And this is going to be $5, number 16. And feel free to say hi in the chat if you're watching. Um, oh, gosh, my cat's howling out the door. He's ready to come in. So my next item is going to be an Italian creamer. And it says Chimpilla Umbellata. And... I'm not sure what the flower is. I had looked it up and forgot. To me, it kind of looks like poppies. It's a vo very botanical looking piece. It's got like the root system and the flower and the like, I don't know if that's the Latin name or the Italian name, but on the bottom, it is marked, and I can't read Italian, Euro Ramache 7CA. And I'm not sure if that's their currency or if that's a volumetric measurement for them um and it's made in Vincenza, Vincenza Italy and it also has um like some kind of inset thing going on in the ceramic and this is going to be six dollars number 27 six dollars number 27 okay and let me just switch screens for a second. Okay, cool. And then after that, I'm going to be offering this tea pot teacup. I believe I've seen it in somebody else's sale or somebody else's thrift channel. But it's got a swirl pattern. It's like a white bone china is what I believe it is. Um, and it's a pretty blue and white pattern. And there's no chips or cracks or issues. It's just a made in China piece. All my mugs tonight are going to be $5. Um, 
But yeah, I thought it's really cute, especially if you're a blue and white collector and style your house like that. You can drink your tea in a teapot teacup. And that is $5, number 39, if I didn't already say that. Next up, I have a Lefton lady, and she's holding a green parasail, and she's got bows up her dress. She's got a pretty floral pattern along her gown, and her head has a bonnet with little flowers around it. Um, she's styling a bun. She has luxurious lashes, and she's throwing up the horns. I'm not really sure why her fingers are there. They're folded under her hand. But um, so yeah, it plays this song. And if you get tired of hearing the song, you can take this lovely switch in the back and pause the music. So that is going to be $9, number 32. And it is marked left in, and it does have the tune listed, Michelle. And, um, so yeah, and it's got some more left in markings here. It's hand painted and it is the Christopher collection from 1989. Okay. So far, not so good, but we're going to get there. Next up, I have a bunch of better homes and gardens crafting books because everybody loves crafting. Um, so I have... Two of the patchwork quilting books, and this is not the first print, but they are the first edition. And one is made, um, one is the first printing, I'm sorry, and then one is the third printing. And the first printing was in 1983, they are from 1977, the copyright. And the first two people to type number one in the chat will receive these books for their $5 each. The first one to type it will get the older edition. The second, or older print, rather. The second person to type it will get the newer print. And I guess I should have shown more pictures from the book before I gave y'all the info. But there's some of the quilts. It's got some nice old colors to it. Shows you how to do the patterns. Um, like there's a tablecloth and let's say a cool little like star quilt and this lists out all the different crafts you can do with it. And again, that's $5 number one. And then next up, I have the Christmas craft edition. And that's a Better Homes and Gardens book, and it's Christmas Crafts to Make Ahead. And this one is the fourth printing, but it's still the first edition. And it has, um, you know, the contents of all the different crafts you can make. And here's some photos from the book, some patterns, um, some of the little ornaments it shows you how to make with the patterns and instructions and little Christmas tree pillows and all types of goodies. There's some like needlework um, and it shows you how to do it. And angel ornaments, all kinds of good stuff. And this is going to be $5 number three. $5 number three. Okay, and then my next Better Homes and Gardens book is the Woodworking Quick and Easy Woodcrafts. Now, this one has water damage to it. It doesn't smell, and the pages don't stick together, but it has some cool little things, like you can make a little mini, you know, fence post frame, and bird feeders, and, like, flower pot surrounds. Like, these are rabbits and squirrels and it has the like actual pattern for you to follow if you're into woodcrafting and there's a kitty cat and 
the birds, the cardinal, and the, I guess, goldfinch. I don't know my birds. Yep, goldfinch. I'm so smart. Look at me. And there's the pattern for the squirrel and the rabbit. And this book is going to be $5. And it is number 102. $5, 102. Okay, and next up is my Better Homes and Gardens applique book, and this one is pretty dang awesome. It shows you how to, like, apply quilting type things on top of pillows and blankets, and it gives them kind of more texture to it. Um, thank you, Maria. I got you down for number three. And um, basically, it tells you how to learn applique, how to do the skills, special techniques, creative appliques. It is copyright 1978. It is still the first edition, but this one is the eighth printing from 1981. And like Rejoice, it tells you all the, I got you, Maria, for number three. It shows you how to make all these really cool applique patterns. And so I think that's a really neat book. And that is going to be number 100, $5, number 100, Better Homes and Gardens applique book. Okay. Cool beans. Next up, I have some, <laughs> they're going to make fun of me for saying cool beans like they do <laughs> on Fat Bird Finds. But anyway, I have these two avocado Fire King stackable mugs. And again, I sell, I'm selling all the mugs at five bucks a piece. And it's basically just to cover the packaging material. And um, so these are going to be number one and two. And if you want both of them, and I see you first in the chat, I will give you the option of having both of them. And if not, I will give it to the next person in the chat. So I guess you both type number one, if that makes any sense at all. And they've kind of got this beautiful, like, white melt glass looking inside. And they're anchored, Anchor Hawking Fire King Oven Proof Made in the USA. Um, I paid five bucks a piece. I used to collect these, but... Like I said, I have way too many. Yes, you are my first sale. Thank you so much, Maria. Um, okay. Next up is my cat frames. I feel like I'm saying next up a lot. And the cat first cat frame I have has this orange kitten inside of it. And I think maybe that's a stock photo. And a lot of these frames... Because I buy them used, they have chips in the corners of the glass, but that's always covered by the frame surround, so it really doesn't do any damage to the item. But it is an easel back, and it's got the little things for easy opening, and it's little cats playing with balls of yarn. And this is going to be $8, number 11. Eight dollars, number eleven, and it is metal. I don't know if it's pewter. I don't know how to tell, but it's cute. And then I do have another cat frame, and somebody left their cat's photo in it, which makes me pretty sad. Um, and it's got a red velvet backing, and it's like a little screws to take the backing off. And I think. You can insert little balls of yarn here. I might do it for whoever wants to bid on the item. But it's got a black and white cat inside of it. It's definitely not a stock photo, which is pretty sad. Um, and this is $8, number 38. $8, number 38. All righty. Thank you, Maria, so much for coming to support me. Um, 
Okay, Portuguese Majolica pitcher. So up next is a Portuguese Majolica pitcher. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how to do live streams. Vintage conversation. I can go back for you if you want to watch. But um, this is a beautiful Majolica pitcher. It stands pretty tall. Um, the inside is glazed and it is marked Majolica hand painted exclusively for senior man. And it's got a bunch of Roman numerals that I can't understand. And it's also got its sticker. And it has like a little rough patch here on the corner. <laughs> And um, it's got a big, pretty good size handle. And like I said, I think it's potable because the inside's glazed. The in entire inside is pink. And this one's going to be $12 number 200. $12 number 200. All righty. So if anybody likes lotuses, my, one of my favorite sayings is like, be like a lotus sitting in mud, steady, something, something. I have brain fog and I can't remember, but that's what this reminds me of. Okay. And then I have, and I don't ever pick up plates anymore because I just don't have luck with those. But this one is a souvenir plate and I also quit picking up souvenirs because I don't have luck with those either. But I thought it was so cool because it is a Joshua tree and just like, you know, all the meanings and the things that go along with the Joshua tree. It's got like the gold edging. It's got the little cutouts. Um, it does have holes in the back for you to hang it. And it is marked S-53 in the back. And it has something to do with an Indian tribe. I'm sorry, Native American tribe. Um, let's see, I pulled up the pronunciation so I wouldn't butcher it. Kawia. Kawia. And my people are the Blackfoot. Um, they call themselves the Blackfoot Indians. So I don't, I have a hard time remembering the PC things. But, um, so yeah, it has to do with the Kawia tribe. Also, another story behind the Joshua tree was like, when the Mormons came and don't knock the Mormons, my grandma was a Mormon. My dad was baptized Mormon. We were not raised Mormon and they all had one wife and lived normal lives. So um, Joshua was either one of their prophets or a leader or maybe some guy they worshiped in the sky. I'm not too sure, but they thought like the palms from the tree looked like him. And this plate is going to be $8, number 21, $8, number 21. Welcome back, Maria. I think you are NA. You can say it however you choose. Thank you. <laughs> I agree, but indigenous tribe, like Native American just makes it to me sound like we're telling them they have to be American and they weren't calling themselves Americans. So I don't know. I don't get it. But um, yeah, $8 number 21. Next up, I have a house of hat and zebra and this is like a folk art hey sandy Otto, thank you for coming um okay i had to look it up house of hat and zebra because he had the markings on the bottom and i was like what does hoh mean anyway he has a little suede tail he's a folk art piece he's an ornament they give their zebras a horn i don't know why they do that um I cut the price in half of what I saw them selling for and also listing for. So if it doesn't sell for this price, I might as well just keep it in my opinion, but it's going to be $10 number 70 wooden handcrafted hand painted folk art piece with a suede tail. Okay. Let's see what I got up next. Okay, another Fire King mug because everybody hates mugs. And this to me looks like, you know how they have burnt orange? Well, this to me looks like burnt red. But, um, you know, it's got the white bottom, the milk glassy inside. 
I guess this is a C handle. My avocado green ones were the D handle. This does not stack with the stackable ones I was showing to you guys, but it is going to be $5, number 13. $5, number 13. Let me vanna light it up. Okay. And y'all can just talk amongst yourselves, so I feel like we're live here. And <laughs> next up, I wanted to do it as an offer up, but I think I'm just going to do it not as an offer up. This is a speaker box for your phone. Let me grab my phone. Well, it fits in there like so. Now I have an iPhone 5C and it's in an otter box. So it definitely fits a good size phone. Yeah, I have an old iPhone and it's got a beautiful glaze. Um, it's like fades from green to blue and it's got like light greens, dark greens. Um, it's footed. So when it sits, I don't know, it looks pretty awesome. And it has a little plug for you to keep your phone charging while you're putting your music in your ceramic speaker box. And this one is gonna be $15, number 103. Putting my finger in there, that looked kind of weird, huh? <laughs> I do that with the um, Santa Claus I got from Misty all the time. $15, number 103. All righty. Moving right along. Oh. oh, this is so cute. Let's see if I can find it. It's right here on the table. Okay. I know I've seen um, a ceramic speaker box. I want to say it was on the Crazy Lamp Lady's channel. I used to like veg out on Crazy Lamp Lady, but I could be wrong about that too. Hey, Victoria H., thank you for showing your support. And if you just want to come in and chat, I would appreciate it. So I feel like things are more alive in here. So this is a light switch cover. It is a quilted looking kitty cat. It's like plastic. Um, it's by Bright Touches, made in Taiwan, and it's handcrafted. Now, it doesn't have the screws for the hardware. But for my cat people out there, it's a pretty cool item. Um, and this one is going for $5, and it is number 68. $5, number 68. All righty. I hope y'all like that one. Um, okay. Okay. And another mug that nobody's going to buy because everybody hates mugs like me. This is an amber glass, um, and it's in perfect condition. And it's by Indiana Glass Company. I'm looking down because I wrote something about it. It is Tierra Exclusives by Indiana Glass, and it's the little one. So the... It's three and a half inches tall, and the diameter is, I am shipping from Louisiana, New Iberia, Louisiana. I do pirate ship so that it doesn't cost a bajillion dollars. So, um, yeah, if, I should have put my scale right here so I could weigh things out for you guys. But, I mean, if you want it and you, and I invoice you and you can't afford it, like, it's not a big deal to me. I get life. I understand it. But um, so it's in very good condition. It's got Tom Tom the Piper's son. And I wish I would have looked up the nursery rhyme for Tom Tom the Piper's son. And then it's got Humpty Dumpty, which we all know. And if you don't, I don't know where you grew up. Oh, over in Houston. Cool. We need to get together one day. I can't travel that far, but God willing, I signed up for the Mayo Clinic. So hopefully they can figure out what the heck's wrong with me and medicate me so that I can travel. I'm thinking it's like Ehlers, EDS, Ehlers, Dowler syndrome, or maybe fibromyalgia. Um, I had a back surgery, so like my body is like, no, you can't travel anywhere. Anyway, I don't know if I said the number, but it is $5, number 35. I have the plates and bowl that match that. Cool. Very cool. 
So $5, number 35. Oh my God, this next piece is so cool. Um, it is, and I want to call it a trivet, but it's lucite, and I think that would melt, but maybe it's a spoon rest, and I would say coaster, but then you, like your glass would just slide off of it, but it's got a butterfly on the inside, and some little ferns, and some little bamboo shoots that are like sliced in half, and it is a really gorgeous, um, gorgeous piece. But anyway, where did my paper go? This is the Butterfly Lucite Trivet EDS. Yes. I feel like that's what it is. Like, I know a girl with it, and she's like, dude, everything you say to me sounds like EDS. I've been in physical therapy for like two years now, and stuff's just not getting better. And all the doctors look at me like I'm crazy because, like, I, I don't show – um signs of lupus and I don't show signs of what you might call it arthritis and if they tell me it's fibromyalgia I might flip out because like there's no way to like really test for it so I definitely need to get some genetic testing done anyway butterfly lucite trivet nine dollars number 41 nine dollars number 41 whoop, whoop. and I'm so sorry for your daughter Yes, I do believe it is a real butter. It is a real butterfly. Um, just like what that does to you mentally is just not cool. With the discussion I had with that girl, and no PC. Let me plug my computer in before it dies out on me. Uh, I thought I already had done that. Okay, it's plugged in. Um, next up is my Florida mini Stein. Someone had one of these in their live sales, but it was a huge one. This one I believe would hold like a pint of beer or would be a good coffee mug. It's got the pink flamingo on it and it's got the Marlin on the back and Florida and there's no chips or cracks and it is full of crazing. So it's got the old look and it's a pretty awesome piece if you're into Florida souvenirs again me with the souvenir piece that I swear I don't pick up but I picked this up a long time ago and this one's gonna be six dollars number 18 six dollars number 18 it is pretty colors I do agree it's very texturized I like it and my dad got home just now. I heard him pull up. So get ready for the dogs to go off. I have a basset hound and he barks to greet people. So that's how that's going to fly. Um, let's see. Next up is another Fire King mug. This one's milk glass for the bird collectors. It's a ring neck pheasant. And it's going to be $5. 58 I am Shelly from Louisiana, Carrie, Carrie Vintage Girl 75, and I'll repeat that once the dogs chill out, Bruno, thank you, thank you, oh no, it's the Basset Hound Bark, it's, yes, Louisiana, it's very loud, the Basset Hound Bark, um, especially the greeting bark. Yay! Okay, we're going to get together, Carry Vintage Girl 75, and we're going to go shopping and thrifting and have a good old time. This year's um, citywide sale already passed, but next year there's going to be another one, and I made out like a bandit last year. I didn't get to go this year, but maybe we can plan to do that. Um, it's like in September, October. Oh, Dad's coming in through the back door. Hi, Dad. Hi. Okay. So, what did I just do? Okay. Next up is the elephant planter. And he is very precious. Um, he can kind of stand up in funny ways. But he does have a little rough patch on the bottom of his heel. Other than that, he has no chips or cracks. He has some pinhole pops, 
luxurious lashes, a yellow bow tie, and little flower markings on him. Now the stamp on the bottom says E1355. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, camera. E1355. And it's that green stamp that reminds me of a company who I believe is left in, but like, I don't know. I can't find out who makes them. Anyway, he's a precious little piece. And $12, we're going to do number 204. All right. My cats are trying to figure out where the dog is. That's funny. Wait till the cat comes in. Your cats are trying to figure out where the cat is. Okay. So, next up is my Hong Kong plate, which means it's not super old. I never researched why that is, but I know George the Antique Nomad says there's a reason they're not super old when things are from Hong Kong. But it does it is copper on the back side and on the front side, and porcelain in the center, but it does have a couple of dings in it, and it says made in Hong Kong, it's a cherry blossom, and let me see if I can catch the light, it's got some gold, um, I want to say gilding on it, it's not moriage, because it's not like lifted, and it's not satsuma, I don't believe, because it's not like that texture, so I'm just going to go with gilding. And it's very pretty. It's blues and reds and all that good stuff. So this one is going to be $9, number 23. And I can send you a wall hanger for it if you want to display it on your wall. Just let me know. Uh, $9, number 23. Okay. Next up is a, another Paris parasol wall pocket, and you can put your little shrubs in here. I had little fake greenery in there for a while. Um, it's handmade from 1975 by McEwen in Harley, Arkansas, and it's one issue is it does have a little chip on this leaf here. And near the hangy hole, there is a chip, but that's going to be against the wall. So you won't really see that. And the wall pocket is going to be $8, number 12. And it's a pretty good size. I would say about eight inches long. Um, if you're into that, like, Victorian look or Selena from the Recycled Life kind of look. A pretty one <laughs> all right michelle thanks for saying hey no no worries no rush okay and then next up is the asian people and since it's decor i would say you could call it oriental since it's from the orient and that's all what orient <laughs> <laughs> That's um, all what Oriental means. Yay, 12 watchers! Moving on up, moving on up. Okay. <laughs> and it says made in Japan, but to me they look Korean. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. But it's like a little boy. Either he's mad at his grandma, but I really do think he's giving her like a massage. I don't know if that's shiatsu massage or whatever. And it could be grandpa too, but it this person is wearing a bun, and I don't know. It just has the old lady face look to me. Oh, that's backwards. And this one is going to be $8, number 48, if anybody is interested. <laughs> Michelle cracks me up. Like, I love Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living. Um, okay. And then I have this, what I call is a tea jug pottery. It's signed L.A. Lelaine, I believe, from 1994. It's got this beautiful, like, floral type of print. And I think it's stoneware. I could be wrong. It could just be ceramic. 
but it's, I don't know, pretty heavy duty, man. And it's got this little cork here, and it's got this little pouring spout. Can you please remove the comment from the screen? I will so try. Uh, uh, comments. Uh, I cannot do, I don't know how to do that. Edit. Live sale. Live viewer. I don't know how to remove the comment. I'm sorry. But I think if I click on y'all, <laughs> it'll show your comments. Um, so, yeah, I think this is for tea. I'll figure it out next time. I promise. Um, but, like, hardcore tea leaves, not tea powder. And you would put the hot water in the back and let it steep in there. And then you could pour it out the little holes. And it's a very pretty handmade piece. It's like a two-handled grip. So you could do like this. This is my first live stream, Ishan. So if like things are weird, please forgive me. Um, oh, that made it go away. Cool. Thank you for doing that, Ishan. Okay. And that is, I'm going to drop the price. $12, number 33. So $12, number 33 for this beautiful, what I believe to be tea jug, tea steeping jug. I got it good. <laughs> All right. And uh, next up is a elephant figurine. And he's a pretty good size. He's got his trunk up and all the way to his third eye, which I think is kind of cool. Um, he's brown and glazed over. And since I can't roll R's, I'm going to strawberry my B. And he is from Brazil. He's got a um, Brazil sticker on the bottom. Whoop. And he's hollowed out. I don't know what that means. So maybe he's like a molded piece. Thank you, Sandy Auto. <laughs> and um, this guy is so awesome. I have him marked at $13, number 37. So if anybody's collecting elephants, um, thank you, Ishan. I appreciate it. I hope I'm saying your name right. It could be Ishan. Um, Oh, thank you, Maria California Thrifter. Y'all have to check Maria out if y'all haven't already. She's the sweetest lady in the world. I made a video on her, so she's awesome. Um, okay. So, next up is a two for one because one is stamped. Let's see. One is stamped. And one is not stamped. And everywhere I see them listed, they say it's Art Deco. And maybe that's true about the printing. But I don't know. It's more like Art Deco meets Art Nouveau meets like Moroccan. <laughs> and it's French. Um, it's from Dijon, France. And it's marked for Saracumes Bougie. Which I like to say bougie. France. And um, this one to me is more like a almost a milk glass on the inside. And that's the non-marked one. And this one to me is like a thick white pottery. But these, um, they have a lot of these on eBay. That's why they sell for a lot. But, I mean, there's so many listings that I'm not even going to, uh, you know, mark the price up like that. And it says, Mustar Bouquet Yevitat. And um, 17.35. And the only thing I could find about 17.35 in France, I don't think these are from 17.35, is um, that is when uh, the French colonial period began. And so that's what I know about that. They're little mustard pots. You get the two of them for $6.00. Number 63, um, you could pick up a piece of cork for a lid if you'd like. 
it's two store mustard, but you could put an air plant, you could put a succulent, you could use it for display or do whatever you like with these little beauties. Okay. And okay, next is my fairy lamp. This is like, I feel like it's flying by. I don't know how long I've been going for. Um, and it's in its box. I don't think it's ever been used, to be honest. And it's not like a super old one, I don't believe. I think it's going to be late 80s, early 90s. This is what the box, look, the box looks like. And it doesn't have like a year on it. It says made in Taiwan, so it's not like, you know super spectacular fancy but here's a pedestal base and it comes with its original candle still in the package and the top is a little shade and it's got little grooves in it so that it sits perfectly on top and i am going to do this as a 12 dollar offer up Starting at $12, and I'm going to count in my head for about a minute. Oh, I have a timer at the top. And I will type stop when it ends. So you guys can start now. $12. Beautiful satin glass pink fairy lamp. They were popular in the 80s. See, I was born in the 80s. So, I mean, I can't really claim to know what was popular. Like, I know Rainbow Bright, and I know... Um, the Care Bears, and I know all of that good stuff, but I was more like of an adolescent in the 90s. So, looks like nobody wants to claim it. $12, beautiful fairy lamp. Put it on your bedside table and say give it to a child. What? A lot of glare. I know. I don't know how to fix that, Dad. It's okay if you talk. Just don't curse. Okay, come tell me how it looks. I'm going to type stop now. But anyway, if you want to claim it later, it was twelve dollars. Just let me know. Uh, next up is a Spanish creamer. Okay, and I have the pronunciation of what is written on it again. Las mañanitas is how I say it. And Dad, will you turn your volume down so you don't hear me in my screen? Okay, let me pull up the the um, pronunciation. Las mañanitas. Las mañanitas. Okay, las mañanitas. It's still glary, but that's okay. We're gonna um, we're gonna work on that. There we go. Las mañanitas, which apparently is a happy birthday song, which is very funny to watch on YouTube, but it also means um the morning i believe like not yeah the mornings which would make sense for a coffee creamer and um it's got little felt bottoms on it and what else oh there's a restaurant also called las mañanitas <laughs> and it's um jesus christ let me meet my phone Sorry, Jesus. Um, it's also a restaurant, but the restaurant looks modern, and this is super old, so I don't think it's from that restaurant. I think it's more to do with the morning and you drinking your cream in the morning. And that is going to be $8, number 46. $8, number 46. Talk out loud. I'm moving too much while well, I was trying to move the screen over so I could see how to pronounce it. Okay. Um, next up is these 
Japan dogs, and it's a set of two, and they're old. I picked them up at an antique store. Um, they are marked Japan, and the only issue is this little dog has a crack on it, not a crack, a chip on its ear, but it's very smooth, like it was like filed down. And when I picked them up, they were in the antique store for so long, they were covered in dirt. So I didn't notice he had the little chippy on him. And one's itching his ear, and one's just kind of chilling. And they have brown spots. And the only reason I think these are dogs is because their ears are long, their tongues are sticking out, and they have collars with tags. And I don't think cats have long ears but I call them cat dogs. That's what they look like to me. And they're going to be $10 number 30. $10 number 30. Made in Japan. Pair of dogs. Nope, nope, no takers. Okay. Well, at least Maria the California Thrifter made my first sale. I appreciate that, my love. Um, and then up next is like the funniest piece of pottery I've ever come across. It's a handcrafted piece. And I think it was somebody's attempt at a wedding vase, but you can stick like little candles in there and use it as a candle holder. And then you could also put little corks in there and use it as some kind of storage. But, um, the bottom reads. Bob W. Agger, Master Potter, Asheville, North Carolina, soulmate, three, and then you can't read the number after that, but it's from 1995, and they crossed out the dude's name, so obviously they're not soulmates anymore, but I thought it was a really neat piece. I think it's like a North Carolinan's attempt at like a a uh, North Carolinans attempt at a uh, like a Navajo wedding vase, so I thought it was pretty hilarious. And this is going to be eight dollars, number sixty nine. <laughs> I know, Sandy. I thought it was hilarious too. I even told the people at the pottery store, like, obviously they're not soulmates anymore. <laughs> All right. So, I made one sale tonight. I have some more stuff if you guys want to keep going. Um, I will just have to make up numbers for them as I go. If you don't want to hang around, that's cool too. Um, this next one is one of my favorites. And it's got a little cork lid that obviously needs replacement. But you can pick those up at Lowe's for pretty cheap. It's a Tanola stuff style type piece it's got a lot of crazing on it and it's marked ac pintano a uh, mexic mana amana mexico so if you're familiar with that place what what was the other item i sold y'all have to let me know 68 okay let me look that up do, 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 do. what was number 68 63 oh y'all let me know in the comments <laughs> and it's um anyway it needs a new cork lid light switch cover to me awesome vintage conversation light switch vintage conversation i appreciate it my love that is very sweet of you to support me like that Okay, whoop, whoop, two items. My biggest sale in one night. So yes, AC Pintano, um, Mina, Mexico. So if you're familiar with Mina, Mexico, you might like this. And I'm just gonna sell it for $8, number 300. $8, number 300. All right, bear with me as I write things. <laughs> and then 
Next up, I have this pretty awesome, it says made in Japan. It's an incense burner and it's a little girl sitting on a bowl and she's carrying a basket of flowers. And I'm trying to work with this glare, but it's like not having it. And the coolest part about it is like the smoke comes, <laughs> comes out of the bull's butt, which I thought was pretty neat. So you could drop an incense cone in there, or maybe it's meant to hold the incense stick there, but you can do it either way. And we're going to do number 305 wool incense holder. Uh, I forgot if I said the price, but if not, we'll make it $8. $8, number 305. Alrighty. If I have any cat lovers out there, I have this cat paperweight. Um, he's got a flat bottom. I do believe he's made of glass because he has a couple of bubbles in there, which are hard to see with my wonderful glare. And the brass on his face is starting to wear off. And he is cute. His face is really shy baby. And he is $5 number 308. $5 number 308. Alrighty. 14 people. Whoop, whoop. So, next up, I have these Redware Donkeys, and they are hollow, and I like to make them face each other. So, one is, one looks one, I don't know, you know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> they're hollow on the inside. They have Made in Japan stickers. I picked these up at an estate sale, and I'm going to sell them for less than I paid for them. These are going to be eight dollars number 88 eight dollars number 88 all right oh my knees are killing me this next piece is from my own personal collection. Um, I don't want to sell it, but I'm gonna. It's marked Mexico. It's made in Mexico. It's like an ewer, but I would use it for plants, even though it is um, glazed on the inside. It does have some rough patches around the spout. But, like, I love the colors, and I loved it so much that I never wanted to sell it. And this is going to be $10, number 127. All righty. So, since I still have people here, I can keep going. This next little object I have, I thought was super cute. It's not totally vintage. It's from a market. And it has a little easel back, but it's a travel frame. And it's got this little latch. Oh, the world market card fell out. And you open it up, and you have your little pictures in there. And I just thought it was darling. So I picked this up. Um, I'm going to do this one for, and it's brass, and it looks vintage. Or maybe just brass plated. Um, I'm going to do this one for $3, number 136. 
$3, number 136. All righty. So what do you guys like? Like I have baby cows and I have dogs and I have cats and I have pigs. I have a dinosaur, bird. <laughs> Kendra Joe, I got you down for number 136. Thank you, my baby. Whoop, whoop. Three sales, moving on up. Michelle, you just missed it. Unless y'all see it coming up differently. I'm on StreamYard. I don't know how it works, but I see 136. I guess we better go with what I see because, you know, that's how we make it fair here. Um, next up is this Shafford Poodle. And these sell pretty well. It's a standard poodle. He's got a big old snout arm. These sell pretty well on eBay. They're a pretty popular item. Um, he's got some crazing on his legs, which will probably be hard to see in the camera. But that just shows his age. He is marked 1817, and he's got a like price written on him, which I hope I can rub off before I send it out so he's all original. But, um, so yeah, he's pretty darn cool. I'm going to mark him low and do $8, number 138. $8, number 138. Where's my poodle people at? Cute. And like for reals, I have a lot of everything. So if there's a certain animal you like, if you like planners, if you like whatever, just let me know. <laughs> I can get dad to go grab them. Okay, this next one I have here is a pretty good size dog figurine. I call them dash hounds. I believe they're dachshunds. Also, aka weenie dogs. And it's 1949. Yukago Ceramics. He has a sticker, but the words have worn off. So it's just basically a big silver piece. And um, he's really cute. Like his paint job is amazing. He's got no chips or cracks. We're going to do $8, number 140. $8, number 140. Okay, I do have, um, oh, some salt and pepper shakers that are really cool. I don't know what style to say. I guess these would be just mid-century style. They're retro. They're not actually from the mid-century. Um, one's a beautiful orange fish, orangey reds and yellows, and a really cool style. Um, they've got little scales. They're texturized. They have rubber corks. That's how I know they're not old. And this one is green. It's got the purple lining. And I don't know. I just think they're so precious. Let me see how I do them. I like to sit them like this together. Because this one curves inward. Anyway, we're going to do $8, number one hundred. And fifty eight dollars, number one hundred and fifty. And the salt one is the green one. It comes out their snouts, and you can grab them by their tails. And the pepper one's the red one because you know pepper's hot. So very cool, very pretty piece. Let me see what I can run do cheap because people like to cheap. Uh, oh, y'all can buy these and sell them to Randy in your live so <laughs> I'm going to do these for $5. Well, let me not say the price yet and the number. And 
they're both salt shakers because they both have three holes, but they're very mid-century as well. Um, they stand up like that. They also stand up like this. Um, this little guy is missing the black paint on his nose. And this little guy has the white spot, so maybe that's how you could tell he's – look at that glare, how he's for salt and the other one's for pepper. But you could – Stand them both up like this. Number 150. I think I already got that one, right? Who was number 150? Did I not write them down? I'm great. I'm going to have to go back and look. Um, gotcha, Sandy Auto, number 150. I think that was. Was a fish, wasn't it? Bear with me because I'm pulling out new stuff. Okay. Any marks on the deer? Just made in Japan. Um, and they have the cork bottoms. Um, I think I did replace these corks. I'll know if I try to pull it out and it falls apart. No, they're the old corks, but they're not rotten and coming out of the things like you usually find. But... You can tell any copper items, my girl, I got some copper for you. <laughs> Just give me two seconds. Also number 88 pair of donkeys. Okay. I don't know why some comments are popping up in some are. Sandra Joe. Thank you, my love. And I do have my email in the corner right there. <laughs> I'm getting used to these cameras. Um, oh, okay, and yeah, so the salt and salt shakers are going to be number 183, and they're going to be five dollars. 183, five dollars. Brass items, brass items. Oh my gosh, I have a whole brass box. I can grab what's right over there if y'all give me two seconds. 183. Thank you, Michelle. Y'all are so sweet. Okay. Dad, you need to go find my copper box for me. I'm gonna like fill up my hands and get what I can. I'm still here, guys. Uh, it's in my closet, the copper box. The box of copper, I think it's in the closet. Okay. In the closet in my shed house. Silly. I slept for four hours this afternoon. I'm ready for fun. Oh, well, good girl, because I can make a lot of fun happen right now. Maybe if I turn the brightness down on my screen, but I think that just affects my screen and not theirs. My dad says to move it slowly. My camera's slow to focus. So I'll try that. Dude, Michelle does some marathons. I don't even know how she can. Like, I'm sitting on a couch cushion on the floor. At least I can straighten my legs out sometimes. <laughs> okay, so this is, um, let me make that disappear. He keeps turning the volume on in his bedroom and you can hear it. I don't know. Can y'all hear me echo in the background? Yes or no? Okay, so my first brass item also has, I believe, some cast iron leaves. 
It's a magnolia candle holder, and it would hold a regular candlestick. <laughs> Shut up, I'm old. Shut up. I have the body of an old lady. And when I get to be in my 50s, I'm going to remember you, Michelle. And I'm going to cry so freaking hard for you. Wait, did I miss your dad? I was getting food. He didn't come on camera, but I can make him. I can make him come on camera. Okay, so back on track. <laughs> Magnolia candle holder. I'm going to do this for $5. I need to make up a number I haven't already used. Number $5, number 152 Dad. They want to see, oh, you can see his glare in the back. He's going to want to put on a shirt, a shirt first. They want to see you. Is that the box you No, it's a, um, it's a, it's a cardboard box full of brass. It's got a lot of photo hangers in it. You can't find it. It's all good. As you can hear, I have brass dropping right now. Okay. My dog's barking again. Um, okay. Hallelujah. Anyway, these are beautiful. They are brass candle holders. They're short. I guess they're supposed to like be upside down flowers on the bottom. They have a pretty good texture. Um, this is going to be $5. Number one. Fifty-three, $5, number 153 And I better not go in order with my numbers because you guys are going to figure me out. Y'all have to bear with me when I'm writing things. I like brass, but copper makes me sing. Oh, copper. Were you here for my copper plate, the Hong Kong one? I can show it again. Uh, Hong Kong plate. Okay. Let me, uh, is this my official, official list because i know i dropped prices on my next list anyway we're gonna roll with it oh my god do y'all hear me echoing okay no problem kendra joe nobody was in here but maria in the beginning so i'll show it again this is a hong kong plate it is copper because it is corroded i believe and brass just like tarnishes copper has some corrosion and it's got two little dents in it, and it's got some gold gilding on the cherry blossom tree. And this one was $8. Where are you at, Hong Kong plate? Number 23. $8, number 23. Oh my God, he's just bringing boxes in. You got your shirt on, Dad? Come say hi to Michelle. Because maybe y'all can get married and we can. Yes, you can. Why can't you? Real quick, and that's it, he says. And then Michelle can come live with me. That's Hello, my dad. everybody. Hi. He's, he, he looks fat in his shirt because it's hanging down, but he's not big. He's an engineer too, Michelle. <laughs> okay. And next up, these are heavy. Um, that is this brass or copper? It's proper. It's proper, he says. Brass copper. Everybody says, hey dad. Hey. Good night, Maria. Thank you. Yes, yeah, send me your info later. Thank you for coming. And it's got like that twisty, twisty stuff. 
I would assume it's brass. He would assume it's brass. I think it's brass too, but they're heavy. Um, these will be five dollars. Number three hundred and twelve. Five dollars. Number three hundred and twelve. Okay, so this next piece is really cool. It's got claw feet, um, and you can put like a candle holder inside of it. Um, it's got like Art Nouveau flowers around the bands. And me hearing myself repeat in the background is like really messing with my head. Anyway, so I have this purple piece of glass that I can send with it. Um, which is modern, like it's got a, it's called black cherry glass, made in India, but it's got a barcode, y'all, it ain't old, anyway, I can send that with it, Kendra Joe, number 23, what was 23, the Hong Kong plate, gotcha, Kendra Joe, gotcha, my girl, Okay, so what was I looking at? Oh, yeah, the footed, probably, I think this is copper, but y'all, I have a hard time telling. With the Buy Vintage Conversation, thank you so much for coming. And I'm going to price this one up a little because it's coming with the glass and it is one of my favorite pieces. And I'm going to do $6, number 368. All righty. Also, brass and copper isn't doing so well, but let's do something different. I have a control. Oh, 368, Miss Michelle. Oh, so boho. I know that's not your name, but yeah, it is kind of boho. Um, And like if you guys are resellers, y'all have way more of a following than me. So it won't hurt my feelings if you buy my stuff and resell it for hire. I'm all about making a living and trying to support yourself. So especially, you know, Michelle needs that. So there's the controlled bubbles. She needs to make that money. And then it's got this dinosaur. What do you call those things? Scales that come across his back and his little tail wraps around. And I used to think this was a chip on his butt, but it's not sharp. And I think that was where they blew him, but maybe you don't blow shaped glass. Y'all, I don't know. He's a paperweight. <laughs> Kendra Joe's like, you don't have to do anymore. He's a glass paperweight. I'm going to do $6, number 372. $6, number 372. Oh no, pin, come back to life. My daddy. So yeah, Michelle, I want you to marry my dad and come move to Louisiana. We can cook it here. Will you look in my um top drawer and see if I have a pin in there?
Oh, look, 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 right here. My dad's helping me. He wants me to get rid of my junk so bad. Y'all don't even know. He calls it junk. I call it treasures. Bill, don't break that. That's Michelle. Your purple glass is still okay. Okay, 372. Dinosaur. Alrighty. Let's see what else I can do. Bill, you gotta back up. Bill is a boxer. He's like a bull in a china cabinet. Okay. These are Welsh pigs, and they have that design. Was it Trusty Huckster Mercandile he was talking about in his picture frame? Which I'm turning the wrong one, aren't I? Yes. Okay. What she said is like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years old. <laughs> and anyway, they're stamped the Welsh inside. They're heavy. Uh, so um, their snouts have little holes in them. And they're like a bluish gray speckled with a dark blue, um, you know, highlights around their faces and eyes and stuff. And in an identification chat, on Facebook, I think it was Crazy Lamp Lady one. Some girl was like, if you hold on to those, they'll sell for 25. Oh, Bella is? I'm going to show. <laughs> boxers are insane. Oh, you want to see the boxer? Oh, well, okay. We'll make it happen. Um, she said they'd sell for 25 bucks a piece. Well, I've been very patient. It's probably been over a year. They don't sell for that much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do these. As a pair, ten dollars number three seventy eight. Ten dollars number three seventy eight. Let me get settled for the boxer. Don't judge my house. Bill, quit licking yourself. Say hi to Michelle. Bill. Oh, look. Look right here, Bill. No, no. Okay. Look right here. Oh, you're on the table. No. We don't get on the table. Bill. Bill, we don't get on the table. Now you're making Bruno mad. Okay, off. Off before you break something. <laughs> Bill, get down. Off, 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 off. Uh-huh, he heard dad coming. He jumped down real quick. Yeah, Oh, he's bad. But boxers, people don't understand, are puppies until they're about three years old. So they're like, they're a high-maintenance animal, and you have to be so dedicated to owning a boxer because they will be the Best dog you will ever meet in your life, but it takes a while. We get on the table for a photo shoot, but it takes a while for. Um, I love Bill. If Bella was a boy, her name was going to be Jimmy. Oh, I like people names for animals. I don't know. My dog, I named Bruno, and he is my angel, but Bruno cannot walk, so he's not going to come visit us. Um, he's healing from his back surgery. Um, okay, table for <laughs> Okay, um, up next, this is cute. It's a little sand timer, and I wish it was a minute long, so when people did their live sales, they could, like, put that up for their offer-ups, but I think it was, like, a minute and 45 seconds that this thing ran, or maybe even two minutes and 45 seconds, but it is old. Um... It is, I believe, copper because of the tarnishing I see on it. Not the tarnishing, the, like, corrosion. But I don't know. Anyway, this one's going to be $5, number 375. Staying alive. $5, number 375.
Kendra Joe, thank you, my baby. Truly appreciate it. Yes, if it was a minute, I'd need it. I know, right? I wish. If it was a minute, I wouldn't sell it because I'd need it too. Um, so this next little guy, I kind of don't want to sell him, but, you know, you have to as a reseller move some things. It is an actual boxer dog, but he's an angry looking boxer because he was made in Taiwan. And I think the other night I was saying Thailand and Taiwan. I know this is a Taiwan boxer because they have that certain look to him. He is um, Bone China. He does kind of have like a rough patch towards the base. It's really tiny. If you can see where that discoloring is right there at his ankle. Girl, I keep it. <laughs> I know, but I have another boxer from Anesco that I'm definitely keeping. Um, and he's very muscular. He's a very good looking, like, if you know the boxer body shape. That's how when people in live sales are like, that's a boxer. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not a boxer. <laughs> they have that certain build to them. And anyway, I'm going to do this little guy for... Seven dollars, number three hundred and thirty-three. Seven dollars, number three hundred and thirty-three. You can tell I'm attached by the seven dollars. Okay, broad says yes. Um, I've had tiny boxers that were like very slender and that was like, what do you call it? AKC registered. Like he came from the bloodline and we had his birth certificate and they gave us a baby book with him and he was tiny. Oh, my dad's. Yes. He's broad chested. He's worked in boilers. Like he's a, he designs boilers and refactors them for like sugar mills because where we live, sugar cane's a big deal. And like the sugar mill cannot shut down. So he's a really important guy and he's the one that signs off on everything. And I don't know if I'm allowed to be saying all this about him. So <laughs> probably should shut up. But yeah, he's broad chested. He's got muscles. Um, girl, I wasn't even sub, just did. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Oh, the boxers. Yes, the boxers are broad chested. Bill, our boxer, is broad chested. But like I was saying, our AKC registered one, he was so slender. But I think he had liver processing issues. You know what happens when you get purebred animals, they kind of get genetic disorders. Anyway, my next item is a leptin bird. Um, he's a goldfinch, and he probably would have had a wooden stand. And I looked him up on Worth Point. And that's how I found out he was left in. And it says Goldfinch. I'm not a member of Worth Point. I go and I get the title. Dad's name is John. So I hope that's not your ex-husband's name. And it's um, KW1251. And I just take the title from Worth Point And I go and I stick it in eBay. And then it pulls up the listing for me. And if it's not too old, you can find it. And he's very pretty. He's kind of got like a glossy finish on him, which is hard to see in this lighting. No, it's Joe, thank God, but another J name, huh? Ugh. And um, his beak's all in good shape. His feet's in good shape. His tail, his wings. Um, there's no chips or cracks or issues with this little guy. I'm going to do $5 number... Three ninety six, five dollars number three ninety six. Son is Jack. It's okay. <laughs> I like that name, Jack. When I was um, younger and felt like I wanted to have kids, that was one of my favorite names, Jack. And then I liked Luke. I don't know why. Now I wouldn't name my kid Luke. But I love the movie Jack with Robin Williams where he 
um, grows to be an adult like super fast. Is that a foam roller? Yes, girl. Yes, I used to use them all the time. Then my shoulders started popping out. But that was at the advice of medical professionals to use that. And it worked for a while, but then it just, it didn't. Um, next up, I have this little calf. He's a cutie patootie. His little hoof has a tiny chip in it. But, I mean, they all have slits in their hooves in each hoof. But this one is just a chip. Well, now my head's cut off, but okay. Oh, do you mean turn it this way? I don't know what you mean. My dad's trying to be my cameraman, movie director, whatever. Anyway, he's got a little hole in his bottom. He's marked Japan, and I believe the hole is because they wanted to insert something that makes him sound like he jingles. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Billy, can we stop it? We're too, we have too much in common. And the calf has a bell and two little flowers, and she's really cute. She's got like an Elvis hairdo and pretty ears. And um, I don't know, like painted lips. And did I already say the number for this? If not, I'm going to make up a new number. This is going to be $5 number 392. Now, mind you, there is that chip in the hoof. Which I have self-hardening clay. If you want it fixed, I can fix it. I also have a metallic gold pen. So, Oh, and it's got green eyes and luxurious lashes. I don't know. I always forget to feature its best highlights. Because I'm good like that. Okay. Let's see. Salt and pepper shaker land. Okay, these are going to be 10. This is decor. Do not put your salt in these. You could use pepper if you wanted, but it's a Christmas item. It has poinsettias on them. And one says, has hammered in peas for the pepper, and one has hammered in S for the salt. And the pepper is in mint condition on the inside. And the little handles are nailed in there. Like you could tell somebody handmade these. I think they were handmade in China though. <laughs> yes. Um, Cause one's got a China sticker. So there's the bottom of the, the salt. And now uh, the salt's in rough shape. Shoot. And um, that's because salt, salt will corrode things. This is tin. So um, that's why I say decor only. It's just rusted up in the inside and rusted around the edge, which you can't really see when the top's on. But we're going to do for the salt and pepper shakers. Five dollars. Number 420. What a great number. Five dollars. Number 420. Thank you, Ms. Kendra Joe. I keep losing my ink pioncel. That's what they said in high school in Louisiana. My pioncel and my calculator. That's who I had to go to school with. $5. Number 420. Christmas shaker. Elizabeth, I'm driving and can't buy on the road. I put it on the side of the road. I will email you. Just take a picture of the items before you put them away. And if you like and I will buy. Girl, email me. Like I said, um, if nobody claims it in the chat, or if you're not sure somebody claimed it, email me and let let uh, me know what you want. And I'm writing all the prices and stuff down. So I'll send you an invoice. And if you're happy with it, good to go. Okay. Um, 
Um, and yeah, please be, thank you for pulling over and driving because that's who ruined my life was a reckless driver. So I love you for that, Victoria. Um, oh my God. Those are going to cost too much. I can't sell those. I'm still attached. But I'll just show y'all if y'all want to see when I finish getting them out. I'll get there eventually. Okay, more salt and pepper shakers. Michelle, 392. You saw the chip, right, Michelle? I will, I will, I can hear you, but I cannot watch later. Cool. Victoria, you're the bomb. Okay. Now these, I replaced the corks because they were super old and they, I wish I could hold, I need like a pedestal. And um, the corks were rotten out. They're figural. These people look Japanese to me, but then he's got the ponytail in the hat, so maybe he's Chinese, um, but they are Asian. They have a special red marking, it's not just a sticker, and it's hard to see, but it says Japan, so they have fresh corks. The only issue with these is on the woman, and it's around the base, and maybe it's on the underside. Yeah, there's a, like, a chip on the bottom, but it doesn't stop them from standing or affect them anyway. She's got a little fan. I'm going to do these for $5, number 423. $5, number Okay, cool. Gotcha, Michelle. Okay. These are too cheap, though. I was planning on using them in my house anyway. It's nuts. Okay, okay, here it is. So, this is this. I'm trying to pull this down. I know it's probably like making all kinds of racket for y'all when I do this. Okay, yeah, still need a pencil. Hmm. Hmm. What can I use? Let me see. No, that won't be tall enough. That's too tall. No, that's okay. That kind of works. Oh, how did that cork isn't too steady? So this is a Lusterworth piece um, that I picked up at the store. And... It was always my dream to own these salt and pepper shakers. They have their cork bottoms. They are not marked, but the base of the stand is marked like MK, copyright MK. I do believe they're Japanese, um, made in Japan. This is a pepper. This is the salt. And let's see if there's any other way to tell besides the holes. Not really. So they sit on the stand with the light posts, and they're clowns, and I know everybody hates clowns. Your dad isn't stopping bringing boxes. Oh, my God, you're not lying. Okay, um, he wants me to move some stuff, but, like, I can always do another live sale another time when I don't only have nine people watching. But um, I have nine of the best people watching. I know that's for sure. So... If this were to sell, I would have to do $25, number 425, only because they are worth a lot from what I've seen online, more than $25, and plus, I love them, like, I want them to be mine, so, I know that's a little outrageous, so I'm not shocked if nobody wants them. Oh my god, Pen, where do you keep going? It's the story of my life. 
Hang on. Oh my god, I don't think I can get up. I got it, Dad. I'm up. I got it. Oh my god. Okay, it's time to straighten my legs out. <laughs> Dad, you cut off my head when you do that. Oh, I think he's trying to fix the lighting for people. Ow, 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 ow. Five, number four, 25. I'm just writing it down in case somebody e emails me. Um, brain fog, that they want something later. So, um, in the beginning, before not a lot of people were here, I don't know where my official list was, but maybe this was it. I had a speaker box for a phone, and it's ceramic, and it's bad ass, because we can't say ASS, like a donkey. But, um, what did I put for its number? Y'all bear with me. Talk amongst yourselves, as the elementary school teachers would say. Oh, I'm getting a headache. Okay, okay, where are you at? Phone box, pottery, speaker box. And I think I had decided to just mark it down to 12. I was gonna do $15 offer up, but it is a speaker box for your phone. It has a hole for the charger to go in. Now, mind you, I have an iPhone 5 and it's in an otter box, so. It fits pretty perfectly in there. There is some room for side to side gap. If you do want exact measurements later on, email me. But this is $12. And I need to make up a number because I was going to do it offer up. And I don't know what the number I, would, I said earlier. So if it gets confusing in the comments and emails, we'll figure it out. $12. Number 428. $12, number 428. Beautiful blue to green glaze. No chips or cracks or issues. And it has crazing. So I don't believe it's that old. And it's not fake crazing. It's like real crazing. But um, beautiful piece. Okay. Let's see what Dad brought. And you know, I can't lift this stuff, so Dad's going to have to bring it all back. He brought plates. Dad, nobody wants plates. Okay. Maybe somebody will want some plates. <laughs> Michelle knows what I'm talking about. Okay. This is Crownford Fine Bone China, made in England. I believe this is transferware. It's got gold gilding around the edge. And it's very pretty. It's very tiny. It's probably, I would say, maybe four inches in diameter. And it's good for your, like, um, not long earrings, but maybe your short post earrings or your rings by your bathroom sink. Um, it's really beautiful, honestly. I was using it for a while for my paper clips and stuff. Hey, Teresa Bryant, and I'm going to do $3, number 476. $3, number 476. And again, I'm going to show you the mark on the back. It's Crownford. Fawn Bone China, made in England. And I'm on my computer camera because I haven't yet figured out how to hook my video camera to my computer to live stream. I just figured out how to live stream today, you guys. Hey, Teresa Bryant, so good to see you. 
tell me what you like because I've gone through a lot of stuff. If you like dogs, if you like cats, if you like brass, if you like whatever. Because I can always go back for you, my girl. Um, okay, this has some poop poop on it. It's like sticker residue, but I'll get that off before I send it out. It is a made in occupied Japan dish. It's um, got a lot of gold gilding on it. Um, I believe it, it, it is hand painted. I believe you can't quote me because I'm not an expert. And the porcelain is kind of texturized. Like it has swirls and stuff in it. And it's really hard to catch on camera. Let's see if I can. Okay, bear with me. See the poop poop in the middle that comes off. But this is going to be Occupy Japan, made in Occupy Japan, $5, number 480, $5, number 480, Occupy Japan. Uh, sunburst, I would say that's like a mandala looking kind of center. That's how I'm going to describe it. Okay. Sandy Otto got you for number 480. Look at me saying nobody wants plates. Ha! Oh, Dad proved me wrong. Okay. And another made in Occupied Japan piece, and it's got a C with some rings around it. Wreaths, not rings. Wreaths. And I have like speech impediment issues, I swear. So sometimes if you can't understand what I'm saying, that is why. Um, again, it's got like a price tag in the center from an estate sale. Oh, this one's chipped. So we're going to go low. We're going to go, see, it's very chipped. Right there. Uh, there you go. But it's hand painted. It's a pretty piece. It's made in Occupy Japan. Like a lot of people make jewelry out of broken porcelain. Or if you're just putting it in a like a um, plate holder. I know sometimes they sell them where you can stack four little like demi toss style plates at a time. You might be able to cover that up. So we're going to do... And again, I think this is bone china. $3, number 482. $3, number 482. All right. Oh. Another made in Occupy Japan. So, like, if you have the demi toss cups for this and you're looking for certain pieces, I may have the bottoms. Okay. What the estate sale did was they laid out all of the plates in the teacups and they priced them separate. Oh, girl, I have some um, milk glass and Victorian figurines. <laughs> um, this is an occupied Japan piece. Oh, okay. So yeah, they, they put them out, stacked them and priced the plate, the saucer and the cup separate. And I got so mad. I was like, y'all can't break up occupied Japan pieces like that. And then charge, you know, $5 for this part and $5 for that part. I had picked out like a whole bunch that I wanted. So I was like, if y'all are going to play that game. I'm going to get the plates. So anyway, if you have the cups and you're missing the plates, this one is UGC. So it's a G inside of a C with a U on top. And the C could also be a circle made in Occupy Japan. There's nothing wrong with this piece. It's got, um, I think maybe somebody at a later date went and added this gold um, like mandala looking type of stuff around the edges. So it's kind of boho meets Japanese meets 
um, Moroccan. And this one I would say again is about four inches and made in occupied Japan. And this one is going to be $5, number 484. $5, number 484. $5, number 484. Okay. Dang. And I have some beautiful texturized Westmoreland glass. Sorry if I staring at my bottom half. Um, got it packed up and put away because it was breakable, but maybe it's in the um brown ice chest box. I think it's still in the bedroom. Okay. This is an unmarked piece, trinket dish. I need to get away from dishes. I know y'all get bored after a while, but it seems like it was made in England to me. And it's kind of ribbed and it has these yellow pieces there and beautiful roses. Kind of looks Victorian. No, it does look Victorian, but I don't know. Like Czechoslovakian meets Victorian meets Japanese meets English. It's kind of like a cross between plate for me. Anyway, since it's not occupied Japan, I will do $3 number four. 486. It is beautiful, isn't it, Teresa? That in my brown ice chest in there. Look and see if you see some milk glass wrapped up. Be very careful. Everything's fragile. Unless it got moved out of there, then don't worry about it. Oh, and speaking of Victorian girls, I have more sales later on. We'll be happy to watch. Oh, yeah. I have plenty more items, too. Okay, this is um, a left-in music Victorian lady. She does play a tune called Michelle. It's marked on the bottom. And then they have some more green left-in writing. And it's um, 1989 left in i already read this out i can't remember but anyway it's the christopher collection oh left in hand painted god careful how you hold those you have to set it down for me and so that's her little tune she plays she has a parasail and when you get tired of hearing the music she has a switch to turn off and um because I get tired of hearing the music sometimes. She's got these beautiful bows going up her dress, a bonnet with flowers, luxurious lashes, and she was $9 number 32. $9 number 32. Thank you, Pianzo. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a mess to clean up. Um, not again, Sam, not again. Okay, Teresa Bryant, I got you for number 32. Thank you, my baby. I can't sell that. He's bringing me my jewelry. Okay. So this I'm pretty sure is silver plate because it gets tarnished. I do have tiny wrists, so um, I don't know. It goes back up to here on my arm. I guess you could stretch it the way you need it. But the gap here is about an inch. And anyway, it's a moonstone. And inlaid in it is some like brass strips for the stems. And then they have two pieces of coral on either side, coral in the center, and then little turquoise pieces for the petals. And the reason I believe it's 
silver plate is because our electroplated silver is because there was some wear to this little spot here. And I know it's so pretty. Jesus. I know. And I have it listed for like $60 to $80 on all my other platforms. But since I love you guys, I will do $25 number four eighty seven. Twenty five dollars number four eighty seven which is a high ticket item so I'm not expecting anybody to pick it up and then it's like leaves on the side or wings I'm not too sure how you want to describe it no Michelle I have to be able to pay my bills girl I gotta suck it up and do what I need to do But I might keep it if nobody buys it. I'll get lucky. Okay. And for my milk glass lovers, um, this one is marked WG, which you will never be able to see because it's white glass. Oh, these people have pets. They don't mind dogs. And um, it's the paneled grape, and it's a Footed jardinier, I believe is the correct term. It's got the lacy top. Um, I would say it's five inches tall, and I believe that's what I had in the measurements. Um, I got such a good deal on these. I could do $15, number 400, and where am I at? My number is 452. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Might have to just stop soon. That nerve is catching my leg. Okay. Uh, and you have that one. That's okay. Well, do you have the sugar spooner? Because I also have the Westmoreland paneled grape sugar spooner. And it's got this beautiful, like, lacy surround on the bottom hey girl no worries um so yeah this came from granny geo's goodies and she was trying to sell it for 15 bucks but it was a booth item i would do eight dollars number 450 And that is Westmoreland, panel great pattern. My daddy, phone keeps stinging. It might be work texting you. Got you, Teresa Bryant. Thank you, baby. I really appreciate it. And I had one more, and I don't know if you have that piece or not. But it's a vase, a Westmoreland panel grape vase, and it starts off circular and it bees out. Didn't have it now. Now I will. Thanks. So if dad wants to find that in the ice chest, I can show it to you. And no pressure. You don't have to get it if you don't want it. Um, it's another white piece like these. It's a, a V-shaped. Um, Vase, but it's okay. You don't have to get it right now. Let's see. Let me look at my salt and pepper shaker collection again. See what I got going on. Oh my gosh. Okay, for Halloween. Um. These are awesome. I call them deviled ham. 
but they are little pigs dressed in gold gilded pig suits. And this one has, okay, let me slow down so I can focus. A chip on his toe. No, that's not it, but that's okay. Thank you. Um, um, I want to get it to where y'all can see it. So I want to be like honest. Okay, can y'all see the chip? I think y'all can see it now. Anyway, this one's got a cork in its bottom, and I have a cork for this one. Um, so they're little Halloween, little pig devils, deviled hams, and they're salt and pepper shakers. I would go $8, number 470. $8, number 470. All right, they are funny. Oh, God, Dad. I'm talking about an ice chest, but that's okay. Okay, so this next piece, I haven't had a chance to list yet. And if y'all watch Laura on The Recycled Life, I think she had found something like this. She's into this kind of thing. It's um almost like a hammered in tin type piece but it's like copper toned and it's a butterfly and it's on a piece of wood but the backing's like that you know, y'all know those thin canvas that you can paint on and somebody attached their own hook to it it's a pretty piece and it's gonna be five dollars and i'm probably gonna be repeating numbers because i'm not prepared five dollars number Bear with me. Five dollars number four sixty. For the butterfly tin type copper toned picture. I'm going on two hours now. Y'all tell me when y'all get bored because I'll stop. Okay. On the topic of Halloween, if I can dig these puppies out. I have some Halloween brooches. Let me do this. Man, I'm going to have to clean so much after this. That's my whiny voice. Okay, man. Oh my God, Michelle, five and a half hours. Oh my God. Girl, are you dead? Are you still alive? Hey, Maria, welcome back, my girl. Everybody, check out Maria. We're trying to get her view count up to what? What is it? 16 now we got to get to. We finally got you up to 15. She does it because she has to, I think. Hi, Thrifting Adventures. Dallas. Dallas City Vintage. Jay is my favorite. I'm going to be doing a video on you coming up really soon. You're my next YouTuber I want to feature. Because I want to get, even though you have more followers than me, I want to get your followers up there too. Because you are hilarious. Like, you make my soul laugh. Um... Okay, pumpkin, pumpkin, round and fat, turn into a jack-o'-lantern just like that. Okay, this is an evil pumpkin brooch. Um, I'm going to open them up. I had them all sealed, but you can't really see them too well if they're not. And this is like a homemade piece. And he's evil, medieval. 
He has one eye that glares. And maybe he used to have eyeballs. It's like they put hot glue in his eyes. So he looks crazy. That's his mouth. It's like beyond pumpkin head. I don't know how to compare him to or what to compare him to. Sorry for the camera moving. Um, but he's like a screaming pumpkin head. And I would do $5 number 6. 26. $5 number 626. Yeah, he does have a cool face. Okay. Um, I do have some other Halloween brooches. Got you, Thrifting Adventures. Thank you, my love. You know what to do with these live sales. I don't have to give you instructions. <laughs> All right. I do have a ghost one, and he's more friendly looking. He is also handmade. He's holding a jack-o'-lantern. And he looks like this. He's like a, a ceramic piece. He's not glazed on the back, but he's glazed on the front. And he's a happy ghost. And it has, it has a little pin on his back. And he is going to be $5, number 627. Five dollars, number six twenty-seven. People like Halloween and jewelry. You be quiet. Thank you, Teresa. I try to keep it scary and happy for people. I'm trying to figure out these comment showing things. Okay, and I think I have one more cute one. Nah, nah. And I need to move my Halloween stuff, so that's why I want to find them. But if I can't find him, it'll be okay, guys. It's okay. Does whatever. Oh, I'm going to get copyright. I can't sing. Shoot. Is there any songs I can sing that aren't copyrighted on YouTube? Because I just like to do sing song, sing along. Okay, so this one's gorgeous. It's just a pretty piece. Um, it actually has a maker. And I listed this so long ago, I don't even remember. Pfizer Incorporated, P H I S E R, I believe is what it was. I'm going to try to open them so you can see the blinginess of him. And I'm sure I could find a chain to put him on to send it to you if you would like. Um, Jesus, I had my jewelers loose. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, so he looks like this. And so he's got gold around his mouth, gold around his eyes, gold around his edging. He's very glossy orange. He's got a gold back on him. And let me look in my loop and see what actually he says. Yes, no, it's Feister. So P H I S T E R International 1986 
and I don't want to be a liar, so it's either 1996 or 1986. But he is a cute little pendant, and he is $5, number 630. $5, number 630. And if you want me to put him on a chain, just let me know in the email. Because um, I have extra stuff like that. Um, anybody brooch fans? Got you, Thrifting Adventures. Thank you, my baby. I say my baby like I'm 100 years old. That's what the lunch ladies used to say. Okay. Let me try to put some of this stuff where I won't break it. Okay. So I think that's it for the Halloween stuff I have near me. But in another live sale, I can, you know, hook that up. This is a New Orleans French Quarter souvenir piece. It's salt and pepper. And it's a horse pulling a buggy. If you ever went to New Orleans and you were a tourist, tourist, you probably rode in the horse and the buggy. But they're not super old because they do have the rubber corks. But they are in mint condition. The pepper has the one hole. The salt has the two. And they're marked. Oh, they gave pepper two because we're in Louisiana. Oh, wait, wait, I might be lying because everything's backwards. Yeah, pepper's got one hole. P for pepper and S for salt. And if you've ever been um, to the French Quarter, you know, that's what the lampposts look like and the street signs look like. So I would do these for $5. Number 666. Don't judge me. I just needed another 600 number. Let me get out a new sheet of paper. I got kicked out to the metal candle stand, so. Yes, the one with the feet, the claw foot one, are you talking about? What did you say? I had tons of jewelry too. So let me know if you want 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 a chain on there. Thirteen Adventures. Um. Okay, this is. Well, everybody has their animals. I don't know what to pick anymore. Um. Oh, Jesus! I'm gonna have to get up on the couch, you guys. The couch cushion is not doing it anymore. I've stretched my legs in every way possible. I'm trying to be tough like somebody I know. Are the candlesticks sell? I can see them again. Can you do? Okay. These did not. These twisted looking brass candles. Let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Um, twisty brass no they did not sell and they're heavy and they're awesome and I got them for a good deal so I can do $5 number 312 $5 number 312 I know but they didn't sell she wanted to see them again thank you boss Okay, Kendra Joe, I got you for number 312. And then I had that other pair of candlestick, candlestick holders. Did you like the ones that I made sing? Um, I do not believe they sold. Talk amongst yourselves, students. Um, oh, Maria, you just missed it, baby. Mm -hmm. Twisty glass. What 
play glass with keys. I feel like I should have all my brass in the same section. My daddy, I can't sell forever. Oh, yeah, but I sell that for a lot on eBay, but okay, I can do it. I'll just give them a deal. Um, this is copyright 1956 or 1958. It's um made in 1966 and it's United Feature Syndicates, made in Japan. It is a Christmas um, ornament and he is driving a car Snoopy. and he's Snoopy. Everybody knows who Snoopy is. <laughs> And he's got a little wreath on the front of his car. And I had the one where he's driving a chain, chain, train, but I just sold him. And he's got a little paint where around his door because, you know, he likes to hop out the passenger side. And he likes to open his door so there's a little paint wear on his driver's side. And I could let this go for $10, number 700 and one ten dollars number seven hundred and one not metal floral fro frogs but i do have ceramic floral frogs one shaped like an elephant number seven hundred and two Okay, I need to meet up with you since we live so close. I have some stuff for you to sell if you want, want it. Teresa Bryant. My dad would probably get so mad if I brought home more stuff. But I'm not going to say no. If you live that close, yeah, I would like to get together and have a shopping buddy. That would be fun. Um, so just let me know, girl. My email's right there. So, okay, I gotta get up on the couch and let's hope my shoulders don't pop out. Okay, come on, life. Come on, life. Woo! All right, life. We're doing it. We're up. Okay. Okay. Um. And like when dad brought me Snoopy, I lost my train of thought. So sorry guys. Okay, this is another plate. And uh I might have to wait because I want to see what's underneath this sticker. Girl, I left some hummingbirds at the store the other day. I should have got them. I was like, I don't know hummingbird people. Um so if I go back and they're not all chipped up, I'll pick them up. We'll have to go back to this guy one day. Yeah, I probably should. Um, but people are finally buying stuff, Teresa. So. I think I will be soon, though. I've got the brain fog like hardcore right now. I think I am just about done, sweetie pies. And if, like, y'all go back and watch and see something you missed and you want it and you saw that it didn't sell, leave a message, let me know. Email me your info, and I will hook that up. Um, I don't think we have Western people here that like cowboy boots. Oh, uh, more piggy. I'm going to skip those salt and pepper shakers. And... Okay, let me do this one more time because I know everybody loves it. And I'm going to do it as an offer up. And it is a fairy lamp. It is pink satin glass. It is from the 80s or 90s. It has a little shade. It has a little pedestal stand. And I'm going to start the bids at 
$12. And when I type stop, I'm going to count a minute in my head. That's when I will stop the bids. Let me type start. Everybody's like, no, I don't want the hideous 80s fairy land. And it has its original box and original candle, by the way. like nobody wants it. Go finish case. Just me shake the wood. Inside the case. Must be missing a sheet, y'all. And yeah, it is great with the box. I'm gonna do stop. Don't be sorry. Nobody needs to be sorry. I can't afford stuff most of the time, nor do I have room for stuff most of the time. You know, of all instant colors, the ones for the next ten years. Dash on, missionary, deer, footy glass pipe, twisty brass. Okay, guys, I might show something one more time, and then I am going to peace out because I'm tired. Um, so I have these cat frames, cat picture frames. This is the orange cat. Eight dollars, number forty-four. This is the black and white somebody's real home photo cat frame, and it is number thirty-eight, eight dollars, and they're really heavy. They have felt backing. Well, this one has a felt backing. This one has like a leather back. They're both easel back frames, and. I think I'm done for the night, guys. Um, yeah, it is hard work. It's more hard work sitting than anything for me. Um, and then when the brain fog comes on, it's like, that's it. I'm done. I'm ready for some coffee. But I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. Hopefully I can do this again. Like, I never really know a good time to do it. Like I said, make sure y'all check out Maria the California Thrifter. Make sure if you want like a really deep belly soulful laugh, you check out Jay from Dallas City Vintage because he is hilarious. And much love for Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living. She's like my, go my girl. Thank you, Miss Teresa Bryant. And... Um, I was mentioning it that again. Oh, yeah. M Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living. I hope she moves down here and marries my dad. Thank you, Sandy Otto. Thank you guys for joining and participating in everything. And um, I can't wait to get your emails and figure out the invoicing and get things going. I'm so excited. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your night and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at Lucid Curio so you know when my next upcoming live sale is. Hopefully I'll be doing another one soon.
Hope all of your families are staying happy, healthy, and safe right now. I know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. Much love to you guys. Don't forget to join me for my sale on the 30th. Don't forget Sandy Auto sale on the 30th, guys. Um, you know, support the people you love. And support Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living because I love her. And Maria the California Thifter because I love her, like, in my soul. Okay. Good night, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.